The main title of this double exhibition is Caring Architecture. With this exhibition, we aim to tackle the theme of care from an architectural standpoint. We don't necessarily mean a typological approach and looking at healthcare facilities or nurseries, but we aim to understand how architecture can facilitate care among people, among materials and towards the planet itself. In order to follow this idea of care, we are bringing two exhibitions together. One is Critical Care, Architecture for a Broken Planet from Architecture Centrum Vienna, And the other one is Care for Space for Care, which is tackling nine projects from Flanders and Brussels. The idea was to make these two exhibitions visually separate and have the critical care all along the walls together with the videos, since it is giving us actually the main theoretical framework to work on finding these nine projects from Flanders and Brussels, we located these nine rooms in the center of the hall. At the beginning, when Elke Krasny and I, when we started uh, working on the care concept uh, or bringing the care concept into architecture and urbanism, we were a little bit laughed at, like, should architects now become nurses or caretakers or whatever? This was in 2017, far before of the pandemics. Now, after, or we are not after the pandemics, after two years of pandemic, everybody knows that we are living in a very interconnected situation, that everything is related to everything else. And people suddenly think that care is really something very central and very important, and that we cannot continue like uh, business as usual. And it's not about the style, it's not about uh, uh, certain materials, so it's not about wood or earth or uh, bamboo, it can be part of it, but it's really much more complicated. It's about the new perspective, it's about the new attitude, a new approach uh, based on care theory, which means you are caring for yourself, your body, your environment, for everything and everyone around you. And you're trying to continue to maintain, to repair and not to destroy. It's also not either bottom up or top down. So it's both. It's something that I would call middle out. You need like some movement from both sides and you really have to bring them together. What can architecture do? This is our core question. It's about what can architecture contribute to the big challenges of our time? And the big challenges are, of course, the ecological crisis and the social crisis. And architecture is caught up in both of these crises. I think education and the discipline of architecture, they have to change. We have to lose this attitude of modernism, of doing everything from the scratch, uh, doing it anew, uh, better to doing the ideal building or the ideal city, which is never existing. Uh, each building needs a lot of ma maintenance. Why not starting with the maintenance right from the beginning in instead of doing everything anew? Care for Space for Care is based on three sub-teams. We took caring in its verb form. So there is the sub-team of interdependence, which is based on to care for others. And then there is maintenance, to care for materials and architecture. And then there is post-humanism, to care for the planet. The idea was to not make the ultimate selection of the most caring architecture, but to have a general overview of different geographies across Flanders and Brussels. As Flanders Architecture Institute, we have a social agenda towards architecture, and it's very nice to see that also resonates within many practices across Flanders and Brussels. We see many practices who are really tackling this um, issue of care, even though they don't name it as such, we see a certain tendency towards this careful attitude in many practices. During the preparations for the exhibition, we also were in contact with NIROP, a research group from ETH Zurich. Together with them, we were also thinking of how to take care of our visitors. And as a result of this, uh, these discussions, we came up with this idea of creating a space of reflection 
uh, at the lower part of the exhibition hall. We invite all the visitors to share their notes, drawings and so on with us, so we can also understand how this uh, exhibition resonates uh, towards our audience. We hope that this exhibition is going to be a conversation starter to understand how this uh, very uh, abstract but still very important concept of care can be tackled through architecture and then we see from there. I'm very happy that we can show our exhibition now in cooperation with the Single and with the Flams Architecture Institute. And it's a real cooperation because it's not just showing something, it's really putting them, putting an exhibition into contact and into context with some local uh, experiences and with some local projects here, Belgian projects. And I think this is very exciting and I'm very thankful that uh, the Flams Institute made that.